Welcome to Late Late Horror Show. I'm Dino, and this is the history of old time radio. Uh, as always, if you like this, give a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment in the description box below. Um, in the description box below. In the comment section below. In the description box below are all the links to everything you need to know about the channel. <laughs> Anyways, a very laid back here uh, at the Late Late Horror Show. Sitting back, you know, doing my thing. But tonight we got a threefer. I am going to talk about the Black Museum, the Black Castle, and the Black Hood. Uh, we will start things off tonight with the Black Museum. Uh, it is a crime drama. Uh, broadcast history is in 1951. It was produced by the BBC in London. Transcription run in America, January 1st through December 30th, 1952. On the Mutual Network, 30-minute episodes, Tuesday at 8. The host narrator was Orson Welles. Uh, the producer was Harry Allen Towers of the BBC. So, uh, we get a little bit of BBC starting up here, huh? Um, very cool. Uh, so that uh, is um, uh, Orson Welles and a uh, pretty good show. But the Black Museum was Scotland Yard's Mausoleum of Murder, a repository of crime uh, filled with ordinary objects that had each in some way contributed to a murder or the undoing of the villain. It might be a straight razor or an old trunk, maybe a hammer, a cigarette lighter, or a sash cord. All titles to these uh, shows. As narrator, Wells walked through the empty museum, paused, stopped, picked up an object, and told his story. Thus, the Black Museum. Uh, there you go. A, a very... Very good show. Um, listen, it's Orson Welles, uh, produced by the BBC. I mean, Amy, come, come, come on. Uh, anyways, uh, another one, The Black Castle. The Black Castle. This was a mystery, terror kind of show. A little bit of horror in there. Uh, broadcast history was 1942 through 1944 on the Mutual Network. Uh, these were 15-minute episodes, uh, various 15-minute time slots, sometimes early evening around 8 or mid-afternoon at 3, heard in a five-a-week and two-a-week runs. Cast was Don Douglas in all roles, including announcer. Uh, the opening signature of this little melodrama gave ample notice of content, a church bell tolling in the distance followed by a creepy voice asking listeners to come. Follow me, please. Again, we visit the wizard who dwells yonder in the great hall. The listener was then led with full organ. I know you all love the organ. Uh, that organ. Synonymous with old-time radio, right? And uh, sound effects accompaniment along the stone wall corridor to where the wizard waited with his raven, Diablo. What show isn't going to be good with it? I just wish there were more of these episodes. Uh, but with his raven, Diablo, uh, to tell the night's story, the closing signature reversed the trip back through the corridor to our place of rendezvous on the hillside overlooking the peaceful valley Church bells fade and out. 
-hmm. Not a lot of these episodes uh, exist, but the ones that do are pretty darn good. Um, filled with mystery and terror. Uh, I have played them on the channel and really do like the shows, appreciate them. Uh, let me know if you've heard these in the comments below. Um, the last one I'm going to talk about tonight is The Black Hood. The Black Hood. It's a crime melodrama. Broadcast history, July 5th, 1943 through January 14th, 1944 on the Mutual Network. They were also 15-minute shows, uh, usually weekdays at 5.15. The cast, Scott Douglas as Kip Berland, rookie cop who, unknown to all, but newswoman Barbara Sutton, was really the Black Hood, masked fighter of crime, Marjorie Kramer as Barbara. The mask worn by Kip Berland in his serial was magical, giving him supernatural power. The opening signature was ominous challenge of two lawbreakers with, with gongs and wind effects and a filtered voice. Criminals beware, the Black Hood is everywhere. I, the Black Hood, do solemnly swear that neither threats, nor bribes, nor bullets, nor death itself shall keep me from fulfilling my vow to erase crime from the face of the earth. There you go, the Black Hood. Uh, not a whole lot of information on there, uh, but that's what we got. The Black Hood, could it be a uh, precursor to... Uh, Others along the line. This this was broadcast in 1943, although the shadow was uh, earlier. But yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, if you enjoy this series, please let me know. Um, they're little, just little tidbits of time. Uh, I, you know, I bounce all over the place with different shows. Um, it's n it's not every week. I I try to get one up every week, but uh, you know, just. It, know a little bit about these shows I think are, is really cool so uh, let me know your favorites let me know your favorites in the comments and um, yeah until next time you guys uh, peace as always much love to each and every